What's up guys, Inferno here, and I'm back in the UK. I'm sorry I didn't do any vlogs in New York, it's just, it's very hectic and very busy over there. So I didn't really have time, plus it's quite I, dodgy in New York, so that's why I really didn't do a vlog in New York. Now that I'm back in the UK, I thought I'd show you guys what I brought home back from Canada and New York. So without further ado, let's get into the video. To start off with is one of my personal favorites. It's this Avengers Infinity War t-shirt. I love of Avengers. Marvel's got to be one of my favorite uh, category of films. I just love Marvel and I really love this t-shirt. Didn't really cost that much, but I still really love this t-shirt. I wore it quite a few times and I just love it. Next up, we have this hat and t-shirt combo that I got at the CN Tower. Um, basically, it came with a deal. If you bought a t-shirt uh, with a, a, some hat inside, you basically get this for $25. In the UK, that would be a, around 10 or 15 pounds. <laughs> so it's a really good deal and I haven't worn it just yet. But I plan to in the near future. Next thing is that actually something I didn't actually get in either Canada or New York. Something that I actually got in the airport. I, I played in this raffle and I managed to get some um, thing and this is what I won. A comb. <laughs> Not really that exciting but thought I might as well just add it into the video. The next thing in this video is something that I won in the great uh, Canadian Midway Arcade. If you saw my I vlog, you'll all know that I went there to see how many tickets I could win. I only managed to win 280 tickets, but it doesn't matter how many tickets you win or what prizes you win, it's about how much fun you've had at the arcade, and I definitely had fun. Yeah, this was 250, and I got two rubbers right here, and they were like 15, I think, 15 each. Not really that exciting, nothing to sneeze at, but... Thought I might as well include it. Next up, we have a bag of curry spices. Now, I'm a big fan of making curry. Uh, I just really love making curry. It's a really fun process, and I thought I'd use these spices in my curries. We have original 1950s butter chicken. We have korma chicken curry. We have madras chicken curry. Vindaloo beef curry and tikka masala. <laughs> While we're on the topic of spice, the next item is actually the very first thing that I bought and it is chilies. Now I really like making spicy food. I'm not great at handling it. I'm okay, but yeah, I just really like making spicy food and I have no idea what these chilies are. I don't know how spicy they are. I don't know how like they're like, the weakest chilies, if they're the uh, hottest chilies, but I still really like these chilies and I can't wait to use them in a curry. The next item is another t-shirt and the t-shirt is the Toronto Blue Jays baseball t-shirt. Now, I love baseball. I don't really watch it that much. I like playing it, but uh, Toronto Blue Jays are like, like the only uh, like baseball team in Canada. And I thought I'd pick it up uh, since I really like baseball. Next up on the list, it's a Niagara Falls Canada t-shirt. Now, Niagara Falls was really fun. I really liked it. I like every moment of it. They have great food. When we went to a Starbucks, it was really crap service, but you know. <laughs> but I still really I like Niagara Falls. I got this t-shirt at some sort of market, I think. And I really like it. I definitely plan to wear it quite a bit. Next up is actually two things, since they're both keychains and I've already attached them to my key and I don't have the time to take them off. <laughs> I got a really, um, is the first one. Um, this one I got at the Statue of Liberty. It's a fidget spinner and it actually spins. <laughs> Can't really make it spin right now. And this is a Charmander a keychain. It's made out of a bottle cap, which I got at a market, and I really, really like both of them. Next up, we have a pair of Converse slash high top. Now, I really love high tops. These shoes were, are amazing. Like, I've worn them a couple times, and I really like them. I, I love high tops. I like Converse's. 
And it's great to see that uh, they can actually make a combo. Next up we have a New York cap. Yeah, I bought all this while we're in New York and I really like this hat. I wore it quite a lot when we were in New York and I just really, really love this hat. It's just so amazing. Next up we, we have another uh, thing that's two at once since they're both the same product, just different flavor. I've got two packs of Oreos that I got in Canada. These are actually quite hard to come by in the UK. Here I've got a cinnamon bun flavor. And here is a strawberry shortcake flavor. I'm definitely interested to see what they taste like. Okay, now we're gonna move on to a few Pokemon bits that I got. Some of them for Canada, some of them for New York. Okay, while we're over there, I bought some Pokeballs. I got a Pokeball, a GS Ball, an Ultra Ball, and a Love Ball. And they all have Pokemon figurines inside, so I thought I'd open them up with you. I have no idea what are there in, what's inside each one, so this is going to be quite a surprise to me as it is for you. In the Pokeball, we have Pikachu. Yeah, I gotta say that this figurine isn't like the greatest that I've seen. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> but still really cute. I really like Pikachu, but I definitely prefer Raichu. In the Love Ball, we have Nido King. I really like Nido King. Uh, it's definitely a good uh, Pokemon to have when you play a like Pokemon Yellow. Yeah, I gotta say this figurine's probably a not just isn't really great, but. Again, it's a cheap brand. They were only, only like two for a dollar, so I got four of them for two dollars. In the Ultra Ball, we have a Grumpig. I'm I'm not a huge fan of Grumpig. Like, it just looks like something that you'd put in the oven. <laughs> but it's okay. Like the figurine again isn't great, but what do you expect? In the GS Ball, we have. Umbreon. Now Umbreon is probably like probably the better looking like figurine out of all of them. Umbreon is my favorite evolution. It's great and competitive. I'd like to make my own own like a like, competitive Umbreon and I've actually they managed to get that's a shiny Umbreon over the GTS. Didn't ask for a shiny Umbreon either, but someone was kind enough to give me one. Now it's time to show off some Pokémon plushies. Now if you don't know, uh, uh, if you're gonna, before you start asking anything like, oh, you're such a little kid for collecting Pokemon plushies, say whatever you want. I don't care. I love Pokemon plushies. So, ha. Huh. All right, the first one is Ella Kid. Now, I got this at uh, 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 the New York version of Game, which was GameStop. I really like, like Ella Kid. It's really it's cute. I definitely I like I like it a lot better when it evolves into Electivire, but. This is close enough. Next up, we have Marshadow. Now, I love the Pokemon movie, I Choose You. Like, like I mentioned in my top 10 favorite movie video. I got this at the same place I got Ella Kid, the GameStop. And I love Marshadow, it's super cute. Great in the, a movie, even though it was kind of portrayed as a bad guy, I think. Like, it's, it's undecided, but. This is a really cute plushie, and I really like Marshadow. Next up, I'm gonna do some evolutions all at once. I got Espeon, I got Leafeon, I got Flareon, and I got Vaporeon. All of those came from um, Canada at the, like literally one of the uh, last Toys R Us that are available, cause it's actually open in Canada. And I got Glaceon at the Nintendo store in New York. Like, out of all of them, I probably a like Flareon because I think it's the cutest uh, one out of all of them. These next few are going to be from the Nintendo Store other than the last one, because I'm saving the best for last. First up, we have Lucario. Now, Lucario is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. Like, I didn't mention it it's in my top of 10 favorite Pokemon, but I still really love Lucario. Like, this plushie is amazing, and... I just had to buy it when I got when I first saw it. The next one is Tapu Koko. Now, Tapu Koko was my honorable mention in my top of 10 favorite Pokemon, but I still really love Tapu Koko. When I, I literally, when I first saw it as plushie, I have to have it. And 
I'm so glad I did. It's definitely a one of my favorite Pokemon and it's great in plushy form too. This next one is the second best plushy that I got and it is Greninja. Now, uh, like, like I mentioned in my eye video, I love Ash Greninja more, but this is close enough. I love Greninja. It's, I literally choose it every time I play X or Y. And I love Greninja. It's great in plushy form. And I really love it. I had to buy it as soon as I uh, seen it. And finally, it's the best for last. Now, I wasn't able to actually find an Infernape plushie, but I found the next best thing. A Chimchar plushie. Now, this is probably the cutest plushie I have ever seen. Chimchar is my favorite starter Pokemon in its like first evolutionary form. And this has got to be the cutest plushie that I have ever seen in my life. I, as soon as I, I saw it, I had to buy it. I bought this at the Toys R Us in Canada, and I love it. I just, I'm, I just love and it. And there you have it, guys. All the things I brought back from Canada and New York. Now, I need your help with something. I want to create my own fan base, and I I'm, I'm, can't think of any good names for it, so I'm leaving it up to you. If you have any uh, good names for a fan base, let me know in the comment section below. Something to do with my channel name or something like that. Whatever you can come up with, just leave it in the comment section below. Until the next video, this is Infernape, signing off. Bye!